Hello, 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 my beautiful people, my beautiful people. Hope you're all right today. I am. Yes. Right. I got a package to show you. I do. The postman has just brought it about ten minutes ago. So Mr. Blue says had a look, and he's like, "Show everybody where we might be going on holiday today. Today, this year." <laughs> and I think I'm wishful thinking to go on holiday today. Definitely. So come over to my table Mr. Pradusa and I will show you what the postman brought me. It's gonna be cold this sea. I have to turn it sideways to get in. <gasps> it's cold. It's cold. It's cold, it's leather. It's always cold leather. Right then. So the parcel that Mr. Pradusa has given me from the postman today. Now as you all know we went yet yeah, last year yesterday I'm really not getting my terminology right at the moment, am I? But yes, last year we went camping around London and we went to Brighton camping, didn't we? Now, we became a member of the Camping and Caravan Club. Yes, we did. We got all of our stuff from Go Outdoors, the big tent and everything that we needed. So then Go Outdoors there. So yes, now what they do, because we remember, they send us a cool book and are you ready for this? I love this idea. I don't think my table's gonna be big enough. <laughs> a map of the United Kingdom. Is that the United Kingdom? Is that part of the United Kingdom? That's the north part, isn't it? Yes. So the other side, is, the other side is the south side. Right, so Little Monkey has managed to convince Mr. Producer to hopefully get the caravan out this year. Now, have we ever gone caravanning up with YouTubers? I can't remember. I took on a piece of paper and sent it in to the Surat. <laughs> I've washed the caravan down, but have we used it as in done videos with the caravan and things? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure on that one. That's a bit perplexing. I'm not sure on that one. Anyway, so if this holiday comes off, we'll be going for the whole holiday season of the summer holidays. Because the monkeys are in school, so we can't go whilst they're in school. So we have to wait, unfortunately, until they finish school. But then they have six weeks. Now I'm hoping, if the weather's nice, that we get to go for it. But what I would like to do is go up first. Why not? Because six weeks, why not? We could, because we start off, that's not even our part of the map where we start off. Oh. But yeah, I would love to go upwards first myself. Right, so this is our part of the map because obviously we're south east. I think I never eat cherry yes. Right. So I think the map would be too big for my table. So we are, where are we? There's Yorkshire, here's not. So we are around this area here, because Nottingham's there, look. So what I think, what we need to do is go down there. That is for definite, down cool. Now, what Mr. Producer would like to do is go to London again. Yes, but he would also like to go to the army show again. And I would like to go to Glastonbury and to Cromp. So it's like, there's certain places we do want to go. So we may leave Scotland this year and do, but we always seem to go down. It is warmer, isn't it? It is snowing at the moment up there, actually. So, yes. But yes, the idea, hopefully, because we'll be going from here. So, what we'd probably do is go that way first again. Or shall we go that way first and then across? We'll go to the army show again. What date is the army show? Do we know? Go and look now. Wait, are you, you going to stop the camera? Are you going to wait for me? might take me a few minutes to find it. Huh? I'll go and Google it and see if I can find it. It's the Victory Show. Print it off. Not print it off. Bring it in on my phone. Hey, we got the only I'll be back. I'll be one second. Where's my phone? I've got my phone here. You know what, my, my 
brain isn't what it used to be. <laughs> it isn't. Right. So here we go. What have we got here? So we want to Google. 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 So, the victory show. I'd rather just go sit at the beach. September. That's the last one. That's why it's the War and Peace one, Kent. <laughs> so the the one in Leicester is the sixth to the eighth of September. <laughs> if anybody's interested. <laughs> yes. All right. The War and Peace show. It's at Hop Farm show again. Oh, they think. The, map, the monkeys might have just broke up because it's the 25th of July to the 29th of July and I think they break up the 24th. So we could do it again where we travel down to Thursday, get all unloaded and everything and then go in the Friday. Or we travel down the Thursday and go in on the Saturday. But yeah, that, that would be the very beginning of the six weeks holiday. And it's in... Tunbridge, Kent. So let's see if I can find Kent. Put that on silent so I don't get any nuisance phone calls. Put that there. Right, so Kent. Kent, 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 Kent. Uh, I need to map this one, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I need to map this one. I know it's down here. Right, Kent. Kent, Kent. So there's Kent. So we would go past London to get to it. Here we go, Tunbridge, Paddock Wood. So it's around, it's there, Paddock Wood. Ah, <laughs> so it is. So we would need to find a campsite. Yeah, because didn't we go to um, Hastings? We went to Folkestone for ice creams, didn't we? Oh, we did the water. Oh, I could go to Folkestone again and play in the water. No, ah! We could try that in this outfit. Oh, I don't think much would stay in. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but what we could do this time because a lot of Londoners obviously don't have our lovely Skedness that we go to. They go to Margate. They don't, they don't go to Margate. So we could even try Margate. Because <laughs> we've never been that side. We've been to Folkestone, but we've never been around that area. But, ho oh, oh. hum. So yeah, Hastings, where the Battle of Hastings is. We drove through there. I'm listening. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so yeah, we drove through Battle of Hastings last time to get to where is she? Brighton, didn't we? Where's Brighton? Mm. I'm blind. I'm blind. I can't find Brighton. There's Portsmouth. There's Brighton. <laughs> yeah, because we did the coastal road, didn't we, last time to Brighton and stopped around here so we went for Brighton. But we want to go to Cornwall. I don't know where it is. So we'd have to do... But didn't we do this last time? Say we're going to do this and then we ended up coming home. Yeah? So yeah, Mr. Producer wants to do the War and Peace show. I want to... Go, I wouldn't mind still going to Brighton for the day or something. Because I like Brighton. I want to go. We, we are going. Not I want to go. We are going at some point. Be it just me and you overnight overtaking the monkeys. We are going to Glastonbury. Which is not far away. There's Salisbury and I know it's near there. Oh, excuse me. So all this travelling, it's tiring me out. What? Have you seen it, have you? Over here, is it? I thought it was near Salisbury Plains. You know that they have a fairy festival in the new forest every year can we do that instead of war and peace go put butterfly wings on and go fly with the fairies yes please because it's only about the same time I'd rather do that and play with unicorns and fairies and, go, and play with guns and ammunition tell you what you take me and little monkey there drop us off and you guys go there it's a win-win right anyway i'm looking for glastonbury aren't i 
be that far away. It's not that far. It's not as far up as Swindon. Their souls be plain. Because when we've drove that way, we've seen Stonehenge, haven't we? Do that way. We've actually drove past Stonehenge on the way to Cornwall before from the War and Peace. Yeah. God, that was when a little monkey was, I think she was about 18 months old, wasn't she? Maybe a little. Where is it? It's not that far down there. We can't find it. We've taken it off the map. What? It's not down here, is it? I thought it was more this way. Because it wasn't too far. There's an airport there. <laughs> Dorchester. Ooh. I can't find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. I know it's not as far up as Swindon. It's not as far over as Bristol. It's over here. I know it's over here somewhere. I I'm very good at navigating. It's not over there. It's over here. That's Swindon. It's not near Swindon. It's not near Chippenham either. It's not near Tow. It's his near Towbridge. Isn't it? Bridge. I did not put it on. It's only a little place. Gillingham. Shaftesbury. Shillingstone. It's further up. I know it is. Because I can remember saying that we've got to go up a bit and then down. Sure. So there's Westbury there, and normally Glastonbury would be near Westbury, Glastonbury. No? You'd think they'd be near each other. North East Somerset. Mm. No, we're not bypassing Glastonbury. <laughs> but I will find it, and I will dot it myself if it was not on there. So yes. But the eventuality, hopefully, is that we're going to end up in Nuki in Cornwall. That is the aim of the game, to go down to the boot. So yes, Nuki. And then for the day, we'll go to Land's End. So Land's End. <laughs> and we'll find some beaches, and we'll go to Penzance, and St Ives, and everywhere like that. That's the name. But I want to do the Eden Project, maybe, this year. Show everybody around that, because that's a massive massive tourist venue in Cornwall, the Eden Project. And I've never been, and you can actually zip wire through it as well, and that sounds pretty awesome. It does. I'm still wondering where Glastonbury is. <laughs> it's not in West Berkshire, it will. Could be anywhere. It's London there. Newbury, Glastonbury. Salisbury, Alderbury. Anyway, the book. We've done the map now. But that was the aim last year, wasn't it? But didn't we come back after the War and Peace? And then we went again, didn't we, last year? Whereas this year we'd just be carrying on. We'd have to, we're going to have to post clothes back, you know. Dirty clothes back. You know that, right? Oh, yes. Dirty boots. Things like that are going to have to be posted back. So the book. The book is pretty awesome. The book goes through all the different parts of the country. It does. So it starts off with all of your Moways insurance, the camping and caravanning club discount members, Irwin Hyman Centre. So then it goes on to Scotland, Wales. There's a yellow one there. Northern Ireland. There's not many in Northern Ireland. Northern England. Central England. Central England, there's a lot. Missed one. East Anglia, so that's like Norwich and Great Yarmouth. 
South East England. There's another one here. Oh, special offer for our lovely customers. Five pound off naked wines. <laughs> Seventy-five pound off. Are they trying to say that caravanners and camping people are alcoholics? Okay. Southwest England, so that would be Cornwall. So that would be, if we're going to end up there, that would be where we would have to look on the purple bits. Then you've got your Forest of Dean, Sites and Pubs, <laughs> Wales again. Did we not do Wales? Northern England again. Ooh. Sight Seeker 2019-2020. Oh, it gives you, you can't beat it. Did you know we stock over 250 brands across nine different activities, giving you over 10,000 products to choose from? Go outdoors. Yeah. Take it there in partnership together. Go outdoors. Um, we have a lot in Northern England, actually. Central England again. Why is there two lots? East Anglia. South East England. So that would be for the Warren Peace Show, wouldn't it? So we want one. If we're going to Tunbridge, I said, didn't we? Paddock Farm. I, I need to look. So we've got Paddock here. Paddock Wood. That's where it is. So we need to be as close as possible to Paddock Wood. And I think, have I still got the app on my phone for the caravan and camp? I have, I have the app. So you can get the app as well. So I don't want to do the update yet. So I'm going to type in Paddock Wood. Uh, it's find it's found quite a lot within 20 miles of us to be fair paddock not not that one uh paddock i'm spelling it wrong paddock wood tunbridge My phone does not want to spell properly for me. Tunbridge. Right. Maidstone there. Yeah, Maidstone there. Found quite a lot. There's one just outside Paddock Wood. So let's find that. Paddock Wood Aidensfield. Have a look. Call to book. Certified site. There we go. It goes from £10 to £11 a night. All year round, Maidstone Road, Paddock Wood. So if we view on the map, wow, it looks about a 20 minute drive to the place. <laughs> Why did we not find this one last year? Um, right, see if I can find it in here. So we want, not Isle of Wight, do we? Isle of Wight, South of England, is it? Well, Isle of Wight was up there, was that Isle of Man? <laughs> I'm uh, mine the right part. Um, it's called Paddock Wood Aidensfield. So we'll look for the peas, pee 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 peas. And all he's brought up is Bud's mouth. Excuse me. Has it got a number to it? Full listing, let's have a look. It might have a number to it. Because these have all got reference numbers. I'm wondering. Aiden's Field. The site was last visited by site officer last year. Six acre level six acres. There's no reviews. Aidensfield, I think it's going to be called. Bedfordshire, but it's going to be, is it going to be Maidstone, do you think? Or East Sussex? Ah, ah might be East Sussex. Battle is there. Battle, battle, battle. So these are all the East Sussex ones. No, it's not in here. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. 
No, it goes from O to R. Unless it's under Maiden Stone. Let's have a look. But you'd think it would be under East Sussex. Let's just double check. Kent. So it is Kent, isn't it? So, right. Maidstone on there. Paddlesworth. Paddockwood. Found it! Found it! Right, there's no picture. Of course not. So, Paddockwood X11. Agents Field, Maidstone Road, Paddockwood. Um, so, it's 250 yards from Hop Farm. And, and that's where the actual War and Peace show is. 250 yards from Hop Farm. What? You won't need to drive, we just walk across. Six acres level from 10 to 11 pound for tents, caravans, motorhomes. Dog friendly. That, that, that doesn't look too bad, you know. Let's have a look what else the app says about it. Says it's for families as well. Family plus unit. You have got to be a member. It's a member exclusive site. When did we become members? At the end. That's all right then. So that's good. Um, it, it wants me to log in to get more information about it. And I haven't got my stuff in front of me to log in. But that looks like a promising one for the war and peace. Uh, three nights so it'd be the thursday night the friday night and the saturday night and we leave the sunday we want it for four nights then we leave the monday 10 pound a night 10 pound a night 10 to 11 pound a night for the five of us so we, we can manage four nights that's cheaper than getting into the war and peace isn't it right see if there's any in glastonbury <laughs> even though i can't find glastonbury uh, done there so right so, so, so I circle that one. <laughs> Glastonbury. Oh, I've got the video on when I so I can rewind the video. Wow, there's a lot. Right, I think I may have found it. I may be able to find out about now. Found it, it's there. <laughs> it's right over here. It's there. Glastonbury. <laughs> okay. And there is a campsite more or less right next to it as well, which is Glastonbury Orchid Farm. Ooh. That one's from 15 to 16 pound a night. That one. But Lee, it's called the place. So we would have to drive into Glastonbury to get there. Hmm, bit far away that one. It's a new closer. A new closer than that. Yeah, what? There isn't. Where's Glastonbury? That's even further, but that's a main road. Anyway, it depends where you want to go. Do you want to go to Butley? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or Rest Home. <laughs> Sorry. So Glastonbury's there. And then the one I found, Butley, is around here. Oh, are you coming in? What? You're going to the rest of them, I'm going to Butley. That's fine. And then the other one is of the A631. So then the other one, so there's none directly in Glastonbury. Or the outskirts of Glastonbury. So you either get Butley, of the Caravan and Camping Club ones. There will be non Caravan and Camping there will be non caravan and camping club ones, but we like to stick to these ones because they're certified. So yeah, there's ones close to it, which is about there at Butley, or there's one a bit further up, up here, up the A361. So we can Google it and find all. You know, drive around the streets as Mr. Producer likes to. But yeah, that would, that's even better though, because then it's just straight one down to Cornwall from Glastonbury. I thought Glastonbury was over here, but no, it's over here. Yeah. So Stonehenge, because obviously we'd be spending probably two nights in Glastonbury, because we want to go to the tour, obviously, but we'd want to do Stonehenge as well, most definitely, and then the next day we'd carry on, 
I think that would be the best way to do it. But I keep thinking down here then Stonehenge. Because we drove past it. I know we did. Yeah. I know. I took photos of it. Yeah. So which which one? This one? A six oh three A three oh three. Is that the one do you think that we took? Because we came from over here. All the way over here. So it's like, which one did we, would we take? No, that's when we was coming down. No, we'd been to the War and Peace. And we was driving along to Cornwall. Yes. Because Grandma and Granddad Monkey had Little Miss. Because she was too little to go to the War and Peace. So we did the War and Peace with just the boys. Then we drove for seven hours. From over here. All the way down to Cornwall. With the caravan on the back. And we drove past Stonehenge because I can remember finishing a whole book in my journey. <laughs> okay, so it's got to be around here somewhere. Because it's not that, it's what, about an hour from Glastonbury? Stonehenge? But, yeah, I said that the right way around, yeah. So it's got to be, if Glastonbury, I've lost Glastonbury again. Glastonbury's there, I think it's like down here or something. That's about an hour, I'd say. But for some reason, it doesn't give you landmarks. And I don't know. Hey, Siri. What town is Stonehenge in? The answer I found is Amesbury. 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 So here we go again. Hey, Siri. How far is Amesbury from Glastonbury? Amesbury Salisbury is about 52 miles from Glastonbury by car, or about 41 miles as the crow flies. So it looks like we're flying. So 52 miles. So if we start in there, I can't find Amesbury. It's got to be around this area, hasn't it? Or is it down here? I don't think it's going to be down here. Woodbury. But that's Exeter. It's not near. Is it near Exeter? I don't think it's near Exeter, is it? Ironsbury. Amesbury. I can't I can find Abbotsbury, but I can't find Amesbury. Amesbury. I like saying it though. <laughs> Amesbury. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. So Glastonbury is there, Amesbury is there. So basically you go oh, a little bit up the A6. A361 to Frome, down the A350, and then up the A303. That must be the road that we drove down then. We must have caught, got onto there and drove along the A303 all the way down and went onto the A30 to get to Cornwall. See, I told you I was good at navigating. <laughs> so yeah, Amesbury's there, A303. And then we get onto the A303 actually from Glastonbury, we'd probably do that. No, we wouldn't. Which one would we go on? That's probably the most direct route, the A303. So from Glastonbury, we'd get onto the A6, A361, down the A37 to get onto the A303, all the way down through Exeter as well, back onto the, and then get, you don't go, there's two roads in Cornwall, main two roads, there's lots more roads, but don't go down the little ones. Right, so you've got the A30 to Newquay side, or the A38 to the Plymouth side. So we always go on the A30 because that is the most direct one. But the Plymouth one does take you more or less the same way. It's still got a joint in it. But yeah, and we've never done the Plymouth side. And we could always stop off there for one night. 
because we've never done that side of Cornwall. We've only ever stayed on that side. We've been to Falmouth before, haven't we, to the surf museum until we found out it was £28 to get in. I never knew bother. Can you remember that? That was our first ever trip down Cornwall. £28 to get into this surf museum. Because Mr. Bo yeah, each. Because Mr. Producer was going through a surfing phase. On that first holiday, he had to buy his surfboard and his wetsuit and then attempt surfing. It's quite, it was quite comical. Yeah, he stood up for one second and it was down. Yes. But yeah, that was quite comical. Well, I'm not doing surfing. You don't get a wetsuit to fit me, dude. I do need a wetsuit. Can you imagine? Whale! <laughs> Sorry. Light whale! <laughs> Sorry. Can you remember when we left your wetsuit on the beach? We actually went, which beach was it? It was in Cornwall. It was in Cornwall, wasn't it? No, it wasn't Perrinporth. It was that new one that we found. Where Jamie Oliver's restaurant is. You parked up and you walked down past Jamie Oliver's restaurant. There's a huge hotel above it with all glass walls and everything so you can see out onto the ocean and I want to go and stop there one night, Mr. Producer. I do. Um, so yeah, I can't remember where that is though. It, it's further down than New I know that, yeah. It's beautiful. Uh, in fact, there's a picture of it on our wall. That picture of the bay is on our wall. It is, on the canvas. Well, what we did, of course, three kids. I tend to take even the kitchen sink down with us. Yes, we don't travel like when we go down to the beach. No. I take everything for every eventuality. Mr. Venusa took his wetsuit. I went surfing, took his wetsuit off. Put it on the rocks to dry that we was near. We packed all up and went. And so, when did we realise the next day, the next morning when we was packing it all away again, putting all the surf stuff away, it's like, where, where's the £200 wetsuit? Oh, bugger. So we shot down to this bay. It was so funny. We, I ran the, I went down. Mr. Producer didn't. I went down for it. And it was still there. It was still there, laid on the rocks. I could not believe it. Heard, you'd left your shoes as well, hadn't you? Or had you brought your shoes back? Because you have like wet shoes as well as a wet suit. And it was there. I couldn't believe it. I was ghost-like. But yeah, that, that was the tale of the wandering wetsuit. <laughs> yes. Can you remember that now? It's amazing what you remember, isn't it? But yeah, that, that was a good day. It was warm as well that day, wasn't it? I had a white bikini on. On that day. Took a few, but this is how long ago it was. I think it was that same holiday. I'm sure it was. But yeah, that is the plan for this year, hopefully. Hopefully Mr. Producer's okay, I'm okay, and the monkeys are fine. As long as we're us five are okay, it will be going ahead. We are hopefully going to be motorising the caravan because I don't fancy having the argument at every caravan stop of burning the clutch and just arguing. It is on it, it's there, it's not it's that way. Yeah, it's not, it's not doable. I, I want a remote control. Yes. So, if the weather says it's going to be nice, we will be going. If the weather says it's going to be, uh -uh, we're not going. Simple as that. Because you don't do caravanning if it's not going to be nice weather. No. That's when you go abroad. <laughs> when it's not going to be nice weather. Yes. But there we go, my lovelies. My new adventure in the making with my new camping and caravan sightseeking 2019 to 2020 guidebook see you soon guys don't forget to like the video for me subscribe to my beautiful channels and follow me on my twitter instagram and my amazing patreon all that in our sexy uk the link to my patreon is in the description below if you're on a mobile device don't forget to click on the little icon on the left hand side next to the like button hint hint it will drop down the description menu, click on the link, and then it will bring up two web browsers, Safari or Chrome, click on whichever one you use, and it will take you straight through to my Patreon profile. Thank you for joining me in planning out my next year, this year's adventure, 2019, and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.